Uh, I've done a lot of work for men's health. Uh, I've been published in a bunch of publications. The fight name was always Maximus. If I can inspire one other person out there to just blow up their life a little bit and take a chance and go after their dream, I've won. Dumbbell overhead press. You're gonna stand with the dumbbells at shoulder height. From there, in a strict fashion, you're gonna press them up above your head, arms fully extended, wrists straight, and lower them back down. You can also do it like this with your hands facing forward. It's essentially the same movement. That is the dumbbell overhead press. The dumbbell overhead hold is exactly as it sounds. You're gonna take two dumbbells, put them above your head, and hold them with your arms and your wrists straight. That's a dumbbell overhead hold. For the dumbbell bicep curl, you're gonna grab two dumbbells. You're simply gonna curl the dumbbells up and then turn your hands slightly at the top of the movement. You can repeat these in alternating fashion. That means do one with the left and then one with the right. The movement works better if you do it in a slow and controlled fashion. This is a dumbbell bicep curl. The curl up is one of my all-time favorite exercises to develop your abs. You're gonna lay on the floor or a mat with your hands at your side and flat on the ground. Your palms should always be touching the ground for this movement. Your legs are gonna be bent at roughly 90 degrees. From there, you're gonna slide your hands forward until your shoulder blades come two inches above the ground. Make sure when you do this movement, you do it without momentum and make sure your abs are contracting as hard as you can the entire time. That is a curl up. For the barbell jerk, you're gonna start with the bar rack and some weight on it. You're gonna grab it with a double overhand grip, roughly shoulder width apart. You're gonna step under it and unrack the bar. You're gonna bend your knees slightly and then explode upwards. As you explode upwards, you're gonna stomp one of your feet forward so you can get yourself under the bar and catch it and then complete the movement. It's important for the jerk, two things, to explode upwards and drop under. You're gonna load a barbell with some weight. You're gonna bend down and you're gonna grab the bar with a double overhand grip. You're gonna keep a natural arch in your back with your back parallel to the ground or roughly parallel. Then you're gonna simply pull the bar to your sternum and then lower it back to the ground in control. That is a barbell bent row. To do the barbell bench press, you're gonna need some type of cage or some type of rack to hold the bar. You're gonna lay down with your back on a bench. You're gonna grab the bar a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You're gonna unrack it. You're gonna slowly lower the bar until the bar touches your chest and then extend your arms fully and press the bar upwards. This is the proper way to do a bench press. For the barbell deadlift, you're gonna load a barbell with some weight. You're gonna sit down and you're gonna grab it with a double overhand grip. Your shin should be touching the bar. From there, you're simply gonna thrust the hips forward and stand up until your body's in a straight line. That is a barbell deadlift. For the barbell Z press, you're gonna sit on the floor with your legs fully extended and your torso upright. You're gonna start with the bar roughly at shoulder level. You're gonna strictly press the bar up till it's over your head, poking your head through so everything's in line, and then lower back to the starting position. That is the barbell Z-press. The burpee pull-up is exactly what it sounds like. It's a burpee and a pull-up put together. The only caveat is you're cheating the pull-up a little bit. You're jumping through it. You're gonna stand under a bar, preferably roughly eight feet in the air. You're gonna drop to the low position with your chest touching the ground. You're gonna jump back up and then you're gonna jump through the pull up until your chest touches the bar. The entire movement put together looks like this. Remember, jump as high as you can. The push up is the best exercise I know to build incredible upper body strength. And also for guys out there, if you're trying to look good or girls, really builds a nice set of shoulders, nice pecs. Now, with the push-up, there's a lot of shit out there that for some reason passes as a push-up, but I'm gonna show you how a push-up is done in my world. You're gonna put your hands roughly shoulder width apart. You're gonna lower yourself to the ground, and it's a key point to make sure your chest touches the ground. You're gonna pause briefly, you're gonna come back up to the top, and you're gonna go full extension with the elbows at the top. 
that is a push-up. Strict form. For the ball slam, you need a ball that you can actually slam. You're gonna bend down, you're gonna pick up the ball. Make sure it's a ball that actually sticks to the ground with minimal bounce. I've seen people use a basketball or a volleyball for this and it usually ends really badly for their face. So you wanna make sure that ball doesn't bounce. As I said, you're gonna bend down and pick up the ball. You're gonna throw it over your head and straighten your arms. And from there, you're gonna snap your hips down like you're doing an explosive squat and slam the ball into the ground as hard as you can. From there, grab it, pick it up, put it back over your head. I hate the word chin up. It implies when doing a pull up that all you have to do is squeak your chin over the bar. A pull up in my world is pulling yourself all the way up till your chest touches the bar. To do the movement, you're gonna put your hands roughly shoulder width apart, you're gonna grab onto the bar. You're gonna pull yourself all the way up till your chest touches the bar. You're gonna let yourself all the way out. That is a pull up. To do dips, you're gonna need some type of dip stand with parallel handles. You're gonna to jump to the top position with your arms perfectly extended. Bend your legs slightly. You're gonna lower yourself until your triceps are parallel to the ground and then press yourself back up and through. That is what we call a dip. The bear crawl is a super easy and simple movement to do. You're simply gonna walk on your hands and your feet. So place your two hands in front of you and then walk forward, making sure your back's straight and your knees never touch the ground. You just walk like you would imagine a bear walking. For the shoulder dislocate, all you need is a piece of PVC pipe. If you don't have a piece of PVC pipe, I've also seen people use a towel or a skipping rope. You're gonna put your hands at a wide position. The wider they are, the easier this movement is. The narrower your grip or your arms, the harder the movement is. From there, you're simply with elbows straight. You're gonna put the bar around your head and rotate it to the back. And then with straight arms, come all the way back to the starting position. It's a great exercise, as I said, for mobility. That is a shoulder dislocate.